The number one problem on the internet right now is data privacy. We're all constantly being tracked online. And you've probably heard that a VPN is one way you can protect yourself. And because of this, the market has exploded with options. But if you're using a random VPN you found on the App Store or Play Store, you need to stop using it. And it's not that you shouldn't use a VPN, but I'm going to be exposing how these no-name VPNs are blatantly selling your personal data. First, I need to be clear on which VPNs I'm referring to. You've probably heard of all the popular VPNs that every YouTuber talks about like NordVPN, Surfshark, and ExpressVPN. And while some of these VPNs are better than others, they're all generally trustworthy. But one day it occurred to me, what would happen if I just pull out my phone, open the App Store, and search VPN? I could not believe the results. VPN Super Unlimited Proxy, 1.6 million reviews. XVPN 356k reviews, VPN Proxy Master 276k, VPN dot dot 161,000 reviews, VPN Unlimited Best VPN 154,000 reviews. What are all these random VPNs and why are they so popular? They must be really good right? VPNs are typically used for a few different reasons. To protect your data and hide your browsing activity from your home internet service provider or public Wi-Fi networks, or to access region-locked content on streaming services, or to access websites that may be blocked with a firewall on your workplace or university network. So I decided to download a few of these VPNs and see how they performed in each of these categories. I started with VPN-Super Unlimited Proxy, and as soon as I opened the app, there was immediately a red flag. There was a privacy policy pop-up that said it logged device-specific information like the OS version, hardware version, your IP address, and it was keeping logs on total time connected to the VPN and bandwidth used. These are huge red flags for a VPN service. A good VPN service is one that doesn't keep any logs, and VPN-Super Unlimited Proxy is essentially admitting to keeping logs right out of the gate. At least they're honest about it. When you accept the terms and continue, you'll immediately get obnoxious pop-up ads. Everything you do in the app, connect to the VPN, watch a pop-up ad. Open the VPN app to disconnect from it, you gotta watch a pop-up ad first. Oh, but don't worry, they do have a premium version for $12 a month or $80 a year to remove ads and access the premium servers. But this is a complete ripoff when well-established VPNs like Surfshark go for less than $60 a year. But VPN-Super Unlimited Proxy does offer a free version and I gotta say, the speeds are pretty impressive for a free VPN. I got about 100 megabits per second down and 175 megabits per second up, and this is totally fast enough to do streaming and downloading content in a reasonable amount of time. They do have locations in other countries for you to choose from, but when I connected to the London server, I was not able to access any UK-specific shows on Netflix. I searched for them, but they just didn't show up, but I was at least able to stream US content on Netflix without a problem. However, it is rare that Netflix blocks the IP addresses of any VPNs. My experience was similar with the other apps that I tried. XVPN had a pop-up that said they don't sell, use, or disclose your information to third parties not mentioned. Wait a minute, so XVPN is using, disclosing, or selling your information to third parties? Yep, they even mention examples like AdMob, Tapjoy, and Facebook. So this random VPN on the App Store is disclosing or maybe even selling your information to Facebook. Yeah, sure sounds like a private browsing experience to me. The free version of XVPN was super slow and the premium version was way overpriced, just like, wait, what was it called? Oh yeah, VPN-Super Unlimited Proxy. Next, I wanted to try VPN dot dot. And with the name like that, I just had to know if it was any good. After all, 161,000 other people seemed to think it was good. I opened the app and got past the pop-up ad, and then there was another pop-up inviting me to try this VPN for free. I thought it seemed a little strange, but I thought, well, VPN dot dot is free, and I do want to try it. So I press continue, and it redirected me to the app store for an app called VPN Degrees? Wait a minute, I thought VPN dot dot was free. Well, I looked at VPN Degrees and it was a different developer on the App Store, not associated with VPN dot dot. So which one is it? Is it VPN dot dot or is it VPN Degrees? Or is VPN Degrees running a paid ad in VPN dot dot? None of this makes sense. What's next? VPN comma? At least that one could maybe have some proper grammar in the app. <laughs>
Anyways, back to VPN dot dot. This has to be the most bizarre VPN app I've ever tried. I went to the privacy policy on their website and it reads, we keep no log. That's it. No data is saved from your internet activity. I'm sorry, VPN dot dot, but a privacy policy can't be that simple. But it seems like a good idea on paper. They're saying they don't keep logs, so that's it, right? But the privacy policy doesn't even mention a company name, an address, where they operate. It basically is not legally binding at all because you don't know who you're making an agreement with. Also, this VPN app totally has a game baked into it. That's... Strange. I guess if you get bored when you're selecting your server, you can have some entertainment. The speed of VPN dot dot was pretty good for a free VPN. I got about 100 megabits per second down and 100 megabits per second up. But something about all these VPN apps just feels off. Why are there so many out there? Why are people even using them? These have to be some of the worst VPN apps I've ever tested. They have obnoxious pop-up ads, sketchy privacy policies, the premium versions are way overpriced, and you can get a way better VPN anywhere else. All I can think of is that people just don't know any better. They know they want a VPN, so they go to the App Store or Play Store, they search VPN, they look at all the top results that have great reviews from thousands or millions of people, they pick one, they install it and they never think about it again. But even if you put aside the poor performance and obnoxious ads, I have serious concerns about the privacy of these VPNs. Many of them are openly admitting to logging and selling your personal data, and isn't the whole point of a VPN to hide your personal data from entities like your internet service provider? If you're going to hide your internet traffic from your home internet service provider or a public Wi-Fi network, you need to be sure you can trust the entity that you're routing all of your internet traffic through through, and I don't think most of these VPN apps are trustworthy. These VPNs are free and ad supported, so they're likely sharing or selling your information with third parties. Data is worth a lot of money, so while you may think you're protecting your privacy and hiding your browsing activity, there's a good chance you're just feeding it straight to an analytics company that's going to sell it off to the highest bidder, and your browsing activity is not private at all. If you're looking for a free VPN, I would recommend Proton VPN or Atlas VPN. These VPNs have a way better reputation than the no-name App Store VPNs, and Proton VPN even offers unlimited free usage with no ads. And if you're willing to pay for a VPN, use Surfshark or Molvad. I have an entire video on the best VPN for different use cases that you can watch right here.